I'm going to cover tapping, but I'm not going to go in detail of how and why it works, okay? So just trust me on this first part. All you're going to do is just practice it, and then next week and the following weeks, I'm going to go over how and why, okay? So uh, the tapping process is very simple. All you have to do is notice the feeling, and then you do something as simple as this. It doesn't matter if you're left-handed, right-handed. It doesn't really matter. Does that make sense? Now, why does it work? Remember I said, now how do you know you have a problem? Is you feel it. The feeling is the body responding to the mind based on the organs, and, and it's creating the feeling. Does that make sense? Fight or flight response. How many of you are familiar with that? You walk through the woods, you see a bear, your body goes, oh, shoot. The oh, shoot feeling is the organs making the feeling. Make sense? Okay. So all we're really doing is the, these meridians are discovered by the Chinese. They've been using it for centuries. And, and scientifically, log, and they put these dyes in the points. They're there. You don't have to believe they're there. All you do is just try it and see what happens. So what I want to do is I want to go back and test it with yourself to see if it's true. Remember a while ago I said, hey, think about a stressor. Think about something that bothers you. And what we're going to do is we're going to address that, Okay. So, everybody, do you have a stress or something that bothers you? Maybe if you feel something now, if you feel like a disruption or you don't feel at peace, you feel an anxiousness or, or something in your body now, just feel it. All right, everybody, do this. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and then just notice if you have a memory you want to address and it has a bad feeling, see the memory in your mind. If it's just a feeling in your body, you just feel a discomfort or a worry or, or just anything, just notice in your body how you know. Feel it. And if you want to measure it, like zero, I don't feel it, ten really strong, notice how strong it is. And just kind of notice where you feel it at, notice how strong it is. You got it? All right now, what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can make it a little stronger in your mind. That means just, just turn the volume up, remember what it was, just make it a little bit stronger. Remember a time that it was stronger. You got it? Notice the feeling in your body. Now, in your mind, I want you to do this. In front of you, imagine there's a tree. Just imagine a tree. If you pull the roots right out from a tree, what does a tree do without roots? It dies, doesn't it? Fall over. Isn't that true? How many of you can see that in your mind? Good. Now, everybody, look at me. Take two fingers and just say what I say and do what I do. Tap right between your eyes. Say, I release and let go. All sadnesses. All sadnesses. Tap right beside your eye. I release and let go. Release and let go. All, fears. All fears. Under the eye. I release and let go. Release and let go. All, emotional All emotional traumas. Collarbone right here. I release and let go. Helplessness. Helplessness. Hopelessness. Hopelessness. The stress and anxieties. Stress and, anxiety. and everything else. And everything it's else. safe to let it go. Let Grab your wrist. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. Say peace. peace. Now remember a peaceful time in your life. Maybe sitting in the hot tub, in the tub. Maybe just sitting out on the beach. Or maybe just feeling at peace with God or something. Just a good feeling at the beach. Got it? All right, now, let's do this again. I want you to remember that feeling that you felt, the memory that you felt, the sensation in your body. Go back and see if you can still feel it. If you do, notice if it's lessened from the time before. Notice what's <coughs> left. Notice that feeling. You got it? All right, now let's do it again. Tap between your eyes. Let it go. Beside your eye, let it go. Under the eye, release and let it go. Collarbone, it's safe to let it go. Grab your wrist. I'm letting it go. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. Peace. All right, now. Go back to that, exp that feeling in your body, the memory, whatever it is that you created inside you. Feel what's left. Any sensation? A little bit. Notice what's left. Got it? If you, if you notice, you may even notice that if there's a memory with it, you notice that it's probably shifting a little bit too, isn't it? Feel that feeling in your body. Tap between your eyes. It's safe to let it go. This is my mind. This is my body, and I release and let go of the stresses and all the sensations. It's safe now to let it go.
Deep breath. Peace. All right, now go back to it again. Is it still there? If it is, feel it. If it isn't, pick another one. Got it? Notice what's left. If there's a physical pain, notice in your body that physical pain. Feel it? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do it differently now. I want you to just notice in your body the feeling. Notice the sensations. Notice whatever it is you're doing in your mind. And this time, I want you to pretend like you're tapping. So in your mind, I want you to pretend like you can feel your fingers right between your eyes. Just pretend like you're feeling it. Imagine you're tapping between your eyes. Feel your fingers. Let it go. Right beside your eye. Imagine you're tapping right between your, beside your eyes. Let it go. Feel your fingers right beside, underneath the eyes. Just let it go. And feel as if you're tapping right there on the collarbone. Feel your fingertips. Let it go. And in your mind, grab the wrist. That's right. Let it go. And deep breath. Peace. Step back in that peaceful memory. All right? Now, notice that we did it mentally, and you notice it still changed, didn't it? All problems start inside you. You create them from your thinking. If you can think about something that used to be and feel as if it were, you can think to tap, and all of a sudden, it works. Because your mind and body are one. Notice how peaceful you feel now. Is that true? Who did it? You did. And you addressed something inside you, and only you know what it was. What happens if you start using this when you're at work, Things are bothering you. You tap. I tap. My favorite place to tap is while I'm driving to and from. My favorite place to tap is right now when I feel it. Right now. Mentally, I tap it. And in my mind, I notice what it feels like. I take a deep breath. <sighs> Let it go. And my mind knows what I'm doing because it is my servant. I used to be a slave to it. That means if, if Susan would look at me a certain way or uh, trigger me, I blame Susan. I blame my daughter. I blame my son. I blame my wife. I blame George Bush. I blamed everybody. But where's the power if I do that? It's not in me, is it? And if you blame the food and you're picking on yourself and you're being mean to you, you are still a slave to your own slavery. Does that make sense? You know, sometimes we don't even know that we're really in control. We may, I may give it to Susan. I may try to give value from Susan. And if Susan, does, if Susan has very little value, guess what I have? Because I'm trying to get my value from where? Who gave it to Susan? I did. So we've got to change us. Does that make sense? All right. So, so the tapping works. Now, the, I will go over this. Bladder, gallbladder, stomach, kidneys. When you grab your wrist, you hit the lungs, large intestine, circulation, heart, small intestine. You don't even have to know any of that stuff. All you have to know is this. Feel it. Notice what it feels like. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. I often get the question, what do I say when I tap? Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. So it doesn't matter if it's the right side or left side. No, you can do both. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. You can do it backwards, it still works. It doesn't really matter. Because what you're doing is you're aiming at something inside you and you're releasing the feelings. Does that make sense? What creates all your problems? Perception felt. Perception felt. 